Hi friends, it's Bonnie from Let's Create with Bonnie. And if you enjoy my tutorials, please be sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It'll make it so much easier for you to find my classes and paint kits and all those fun things. Today's painting is on this cute little red truck for Merry Christmas. And I'm just gonna show you a couple of really quick steps of how to paint it. You can find the wood on our website at letscreatewithbonnie.com. It does come pre-etched with all of the guidelines on it to make painting easier and way more fun for you. So the first step that you're going to do with the wood being pre-cut for you, when you're painting it, there's no need to paint the edges. So just be sure that you use your brush and paint just the top surface of your project. Your first step, and this is why the, these tutorials are so fun for you to watch and for me to do so you can pause them as needed. Your first step, you're just gonna do some base, base coating. You're going to paint the red truck red, the top here, paint on top of where the little lights are there, leave this white. You're gonna base coat that white and then this is gray also the little lights don't forget those and then you're going to base coat the tires so again just a quick reminder how do you base coat your colors you're going to use your brush i recommend you using the largest brush that is comfortable for you to use and while you're base coating you want to lay your brush down flat so you get a very smooth edge especially to paint the white here it might be easier for you to paint the edges of the rectangle and then to come back in and fill in the middle part of the white so i would start with the red part of the truck then go to the white rectangle do your gray parts here and then finish your base coating with your black tires and i'm going to show you then we're going to work on the tree next so hopefully you can see them. i'm going to move my camera down here a little bit for you And again, use whatever brush that is easiest for you. I'm going to start by cutting across the bottom here and putting a nice clean edge on the bottom of my tree. I'm using the flat side of my brush. And I'm painting right on top of all of these etch marks. Now I am used to painting, so I use I usually use, and gals, you know I, I move this all around. I normally use a fairly large brush for a couple of reasons. The smaller brush that you use, you're gonna get more brush strokes on whatever project you're doing. So that's one good reason to use the larger brush. The other reason, obviously it goes way, way faster if you use a little bit larger brush. And I'm just cutting in, you can see I go to the point, I pull up on my brush to get all these little points of the tree. Now when you're painting over the etch marks on any of our wood pieces, the etch marks usually, or the engraved parts, they usually still show up. So especially on your little white part here that says Merry Christmas on your truck. If you put two or three coats of paint on that, you might cover them up completely. So be aware of that as you're base coating. Like with this green, I can easily see the marks through this. So we'll have no problems at all putting the white on our tree here when we get it done, when we get it all painted here. And again, I'm painting just this top surface. I'm not doing any of the edges of my project. I'm gonna go back down here. 
You can see a little bit of the wood sticking out there. Okay, there we have our tree painted. Next, I'm going to show you how to put some white so it looks like snow. Now, I'm going to dry this really quick with my little trusty hair dryer here that I always have. And you don't you you do want it to be sure that the green is dry before you put the white snow on it you don't want those colors to mix you want your white to be very very white and very bright so next what we're going to do is the little squiggle marks here that make it look like snow and i'm going to show you how to put the snow on the branches also and again i like to start toward the bottom of my project and I'm just going to follow the etch marks that are already on the wood and use them for a guideline. And you may need to go over the white a couple of times to get it nice and white and bright. And if you want your tree to be really snowy, you can add more white to it. But there's a, gives you a little idea. There's this first part. Now let's put a little bit of white on our branches then too. So I normally, I know I'm working upside down, but I normally like to do that when I'm do, while I'm putting the snow on the branches. I'm gonna start at the point of the branch and pull up. And I kind of like the look a little bit of the paint kind of running out as I'm doing the stroke. So it's almost like a swish starting at the point again of the tree. I'm working my way up on each little branch. And then I'm gonna do it on the other side. Doesn't that look cute with the white on it? I like that too. And then your last step is going to put the black part on your finished project. So a quick tip for you to do the writing. I've got a little bit of black around the tire here and underneath the truck bed there to make those pop a little bit more. Um, Use your photo that you got in your kit if you bought this as a kit from us here at Let's Create. Use that photo for a reference. It's gonna show you all those detail marks. And my friends, if you aren't comfortable painting, just use a regular Sharpie to put the black lines on also and to put your wording on your truck. If that is easier for you, you can totally use a Sharpie. And let me change this here again. And that might just be a little bit easier for you to do your lettering and then all your detail work then too. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, be sure that you like this video and subscribe to it. and It'll make it easier for you to find the rest of my uh, tutorials that I do in the future for you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting, my friends.